So guys, welcome to the Vlogmas. In this series, I'm bringing a little bit white Christmas to your room while you're watching this video. And we will check what traditions, customs and holidays do Ukrainians have in late November and in early December. So let's get into it. Probably Americans are preparing to Christmas since Halloween is over and going crazy with decoration. In Europe, things are different, especially in eastern part. Many Orthodox Christians has been celebrating Christmas on 7th of January. That is why no one thought about decorations in November. At the Soviet era, party leaders totally banned any Christian holidays as Soviet people shall not worship anyone but Stalin. That is why the main holiday of the year was a new year, not Christmas. Soviets done everything possible and impossible to ban Jesus' birthday. But after 2013, when our country definitely took course on ever integration, religious become de facto plural, and Catholics and Protestants started celebrating Christmas on 25th of December. Yet Orthodox Church still kept all calendar traditions, and Moscow Orthodox Church used it for speculations. They proclaimed that the only truthful church could be Russian Orthodox Church because they respect traditions. But with the adopting of new calendar for everyone, finally they lost this tool for misleading. Surprisingly, weather also decided to ship its calendar and came tremendously early. In November, winter is already here in Ukraine. And you see these birds? You see these birds behind my back? So, people from Canada, this is the island of unity for you. I think that is typical weather for your country. Let's talk about elephant in the room. Are Ukrainians participate in Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Perhaps encouraging consumerism is less than we need in the time of... So, not all Ukrainians are participating in this Christmas shopping season in this madness simply because not all can afford it. We all stretched financially because we have a winter, we have huge energy and heating bills as long as you guys because all earth all countries are experiencing difficulties due to the war due to the putin's gas crisis and all this madness and as you may know guys we are idps displaced people from east from dnipro and we are renting our small house here so obviously we can afford many things that we could afford before because we are spending about 400 dollars a month for renting why we cannot do it cheaper simply because we have wooden stove that we can burn uh, burn the wood to heat our room while it's rolling blackout or to save on gas prices gas and electricity heating is huge now hope you did not get bored while walking to the post office i'm trying to pick up my parcel from uk sent to me by my friend almost a month ago it's done through shipment thing in poland almost got lost but finally reached lviv guys i'm sorry for shitty lighting maybe in the future when i become the famous youtuber of course it was a joke i will have some sort of studio maybe when i become a full-time youtuber i don't know but i just finished my shift it's midnight and i went crazy and and want to unpack present from my friend Colin from Scotland. He actually sent it uh, to Christmas, but it's arrived on St. Nicholas Day that actually better because in Ukraine St. Nicholas is some sort of Santa Claus. Okay, guys, let's check what we have got here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow. Thank you, thank you, Colin. Wow. Oh my gosh. Colin, you encourage me to do sport. Now I have no excuse. I immediately started like home exercise at least. Now I have no excuse at all. And I have a bra. No excuse. No excuse. We are doing sports. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at those slippers. They are actually warm. 
warm and will heat me very well this winter. Let's check. Wow! So, St. Nicholas Day, what is all about in Ukraine? Actually, this was a real person who died in 345 year and uh, he died on 6th of December. On this day, we actually commemorate this saint. Why he become a saint? Uh, according to belief, he came from very, very wealthy family. But when his parents died, he donated all inherited wealth to the poor people. Actually, he was well known as a benefactor, like a person who brings gifts. So that is why, according to belief, he came to the children, to poor people, to travelers, to sailors, and protected them and gave them gifts. And after Dutch colonists came to Northern America and brought this tradition to give presents to children and to put presents to children's socks or stockings and this tradition was simply adopted by US. Traditions to give present to children from St. Nicholas at 6th of December is still existing in Germany, Slovenia, Poland and Ukraine. When I was a little kid, I still remember while I was sleeping, my mom secretly put present under my pillow. And when I woke up, she told me that St. Nicholas came at night and witnessed that you was a good girl and you received your present from St. Nicholas. Of course, during Soviet times, party banned commemoration of this saint and tried to erase his image and separate themselves from rooted Western traditions in every possible way. And instead of Saint Nicholas, they invaded Father Frost. Guys, if we are talking about presents on Saint Nicholas Day, I wanted to show you something. I actually got something else from friend from US, Pennsylvania. His name is William and he sent me these supplements, these vitamins, it's vitamin C, vital for immune system because you know I have a Lyme condition, now inflammation is decreasing, thanks God, recently I've got my analysis. And actually he got me this guy, very portable and doesn't require many space in my purse or in my pocket, so if I'm not carrying this guy for shooting the video, I fully covered this with stuff. So, thank you very much, William. By the way, check what I've got for Ilya for St. Nicholas Day. Have you already bought presents to your loved ones? Did you wait to buy it on Black Friday specifically or you are waiting till the last moment? Guys, I really appreciate each of you who are watching my vlogs, because according to YouTube information, vlogs are dead. Nobody interested in someone's life and all like commentary videos. However, if you are here, my friend, if you are watching it till the very end, my cheerful salute to you and my sincere gratitude. Really, I appreciate you. Guys, just tell me in the comments to this video if you are interested to see how Ukraine celebrates Christmas this year. Do you want me to show you wartime Christmas and tell you more about Christian Christmas traditions here? Or you are more interested in secular side of Christmas in Ukraine? Tell me in the comments and I shall proceed with another vlog. So, thank you for watching, do not forget to like this video and share it with your family and friends to bring snippet of Christmas mood for them also. See you very soon in the next video. Bye-bye!